once one of our tenants has put an application into the office to start the process, what are the important next steps and what can the tenant do to help us with these? Okay, so the tenant needs to provide us with two forms of identification, uh, proof of ID and proof of address. So we'd require for proof of ID a photo, car, driving licence or a passport. And for proof of address we'd require um, um, utility bill. Okay. Which has to be within the last three months. Last three dated months. within the last three months. Okay, yes. great. Um, so once we've got the paperwork complete, um, and the checking sort of underway, when would we expect to hear back from the referencing company? So we generally on the same day get an interim report on the credit check, but then dependent on references from the land previous landlord and the employer, we would generally say it takes up to five working days to complete an application. Okay. The tenant can help us by getting in touch with the employer and the previous landlord just to say that they're expecting some paperwork from Let Alliance and would they be able to provide a reference to the application. Okay, and then the result we get back from Let Alliance, is that some sort of traffic light system? Yes, it's um, a red, amber, green traffic light system. So a red is a fail outright, generally because the tenant hasn't declared a bad debt or a CCJ. An amber is, yes, they're okay, but maybe their income's not high enough, so they would require a guarantor. And green is, yeah, good to go, they're suitable for tenancy. And if it's an amber and they need a guarantor, what do we need from, uh, so from that So, again, it's the same process. They have to come into the office and provide that proof of address and proof of ID. They have to just sign a form from Let Alliance to say they're okay for them to deal with their data. And then it's an online application with Let Alliance, the same as what the tenant goes through. Okay.